Today I'm going to help you unbox your Go 3, show you how to set it up and help you make your first Go 3 video. So let's get started. In the box, the first thing you'll find is the Go 3 unit itself. Lift the tab and you will find the user guide. Remove the user guide, pull out the accessories box. In the box you will find the pivot stand, the action pod, the easy clip and the magnet pendant. In the accessories box, you'll find the quick start guide, stickers, an angle adjustment for the magnet pendant, a warranty card, waterproofing guide, and safety guidelines. On the other end of the accessories box is the USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. Let's fully charge the Go 3 before you start using it. To do this, place the Go 3 in the action pod, plug in the USB-C cable to the action pod, plug in the other end of the cable into a USB plug, turn on the switch, and your Go 3 will begin charging. When the Go 3 is charging, the status indicator on the back of the action pod will turn red. And when the Go 3 has finished charging, the status indicator will turn off. To connect the Go 3 to your phone, first go to your app store, search for Insta360 and download the Insta360 app. Then on your phone, make sure your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is turned on. Turn on the Go 3, open the Insta360 app, agree to the terms, Tap yes, you have an Insta360 camera. Accept all the permissions. Go to the app. If the connection fails, just close the message and go to connect camera. Tap connect and wait for the Go 3 to connect. Tap next to the English language, complete the tutorial, tap confirm to connect to the app, tap join, now the Go 3 successfully connected to the Insta360 app. If you go to the camera icon, you can now see the feed from the Go 3. When you want to preview the videos you've taken on the Go 3, just go back, go to the album tab and your videos will be listed here. To use the easy clip, put the Go 3 into the clip and it will magnetically secure into place. If you put it the wrong way around, then it won't feel secure, so make sure you put it the right way around. Then push the easy clip onto your hat. And now you can tilt the camera up or down. Wear the hat, press record, and you can now start your activity. To use the magnet pendant, first unravel all the string, then place each string into the groove so it holds into place. To adjust how long the string is, you can pull the two adjusters away from each other, and this will make the string shorter bringing the magnet pendant closer to your chest, or you can pull the strings away from each other to make the string longer. The correct way to mount the Go 3 on the magnet pendant is to put the Go 3 over the outline of the Go 3. When you wear the magnet pendant, you might find that the Go 3 is tilting up. So to correct this, Insta360 has provided a tilt adjustment, which snaps onto the back of the magnet pendant. There are two sides to the tilt adjustment, one side has a stronger magnet than the other, so make sure the strongest magnet is on the back of the magnet pendant, and this will make sure your Go 3 is facing straight on your chest. The best way to use the magnet pendant is to keep the string as short as possible, and this will stop the Go 3 from swaying side to side. Then put the magnet pendant and the tilt adjustment under your t-shirt, hold it in the middle, then mount the Go 3 on top, and now you're ready to start your activity. The pivot stand comes in two parts. You have the clip and the sticky base. So let's go through the clip first. The clip is meant to be used with the Go 3 in the action pod. So to do this, line up the image with the action pod and it will clip into place. On the bottom of the clip is a quarter inch 20 thread. So you can use a selfie stick to turn your Go 3 
into a vlogging machine. Instead of the selfie stick, you can attach the sticky base instead. Now you can use the pivot stand as a table stand. When you remove the base cap, you can attach the sticky part onto any smooth surface and attach the Go 3 in unique places. The sticky adhesive is reusable, you just need to wash it under a tap, dry it and you can use it again. The Go 3 is completely locked inside the action pod, it's not possible to pull it out. So if you want to unlock the Go 3 from the action pod, you need to push down the unlock button and then pull out the Go 3. To put the Go 3 back, just insert it back into place. Whenever the Go 3 is put back in the action pod, the action pod will start charging the Go 3 automatically. Here is a quick overview of the Go 3 user interface. In the bottom left hand corner, you can choose your photo and video modes. Swipe down from the top of the screen to choose your shortcuts and settings. Swipe left from the right of the screen to choose your exposure settings. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to choose your resolution and frame rate settings and swipe right from the left of the screen to play back the photos and videos you've taken on the Go 3. On the Go 3 there are two video modes, video and free frame video mode. In video mode, the Go 3 can film up to 2.7K 30 frames per second, either in 16x9 or 9x16, and it has some degree of stabilization, but not 360 degree horizon lock stabilization. In free frame video mode, the Go 3 can film up to 1440p at 50 frames per second and in a single shot you can convert it to be a 16x9 video or a 9x16 video or even a 1x1 video. In this mode you have 360 degree horizon lock stabilization so no matter which angle I mount the camera the footage will always be straight. When the Go 3 is in the action pod press the red button to start a video recording and press the button again to stop the recording. When you're using the Go 3 on its own, you can press the body once to start a video recording and press the body again to stop the video recording. The Go 3 can be switched on by holding down the body until you hear the beeps. But now the Go 3 is switched on and it will start recording more quickly when you tap the body turn the Go 3 off, just hold down the body until you hear the beeps. When you use the Go 3 separately from the action pod, you can see the Go 3 feed on the action pod itself and this is really handy to compose your shots. If you want to use free frame video when using the Go 3 on its own, swipe down from the top of the screen and go to settings, go to Go 3 button settings, under single press, change the shooting mode to free frame video. And if you want to, you can turn on custom parameters. Here you can choose your resolution in frame rate of your choice. And you can choose whether you want auto or manual exposure. So now when I press record on the Go 3, it will record free frame video using the custom parameters. To edit a video on your Go 3, turn on the Go 3 and tap the connect button in the Insta360 app to connect the Go 3 to your phone. Wait for the camera to connect. Tap join. And now in the album tab, you will see all the videos and photos you've taken on your Go 3. With the Go 3, you can edit your videos over Wi-Fi. So to start editing a video, tap a video of your choice to start editing. So here is a short video of me shot using the action pod with the Go 3 in it. Flip your screen up vlogging style. Hello world, this is my first video with the Insta360 Go 3. I'm going to edit this shot for Instagram stories. So the first thing I'm going to do is trim the shot to get rid of the parts where I start and stop recording. So to do this, tap trim. I'm going to bring the left marker inwards just before I start talking. I'm going to bring the right marker inwards just before I stop the recording then tap the tick to confirm. Next I'm going to change the aspect ratio to 9 by 16. So to do this, tap the aspect ratio and choose the 9 by 16 aspect ratio. If you want to reframe your shot further, you can hold down your finger on the screen and reposition the shot. 
and now a keyframe will be added. Next, I'm going to add a color grade. So to do this, I'm going to go to filter. I will use the outdoor filter and I'll reduce the strength to around 50 to make the colors pop. Tap the tick to confirm. Now my shot is ready to export. So to do this, go to export, custom, select the highest resolution, the highest bit rate and tap export. And when your video finishes exporting, you're now ready to upload it onto social media with the highest video quality possible. That's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Hit the like button if you learned something new. Subscribe for more tutorials and I will see you in the next video.